Hey friend, it's Mike Mutzel. In this video, we're gonna do a shoulder and tricep workout. I'm gonna share with you some tips that I've learned over the many years that I've been training, some pre and post workout nutrition tips, carbohydrate cycling for those of you that are into keto, and also I'm gonna share some tips about an upcoming webinar that we're doing. Check the YouTube description below to learn a little bit more about that. We're gonna get our hands dirty in the gym today. This is gonna be a little bit more of a low key, informal type of vlog. A lot of you have asked for vlogs and behind the scenes and day in the life type of stuff. So thanks for motivating me to do that. Uh, we're now at like episode 183 or something like that at the time of me filming this. And I think I've only done like two or three vlog style videos. And so if you like them, if you want more of that, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Obviously we're gonna continue the podcast with experts, but sometimes we can't really get our hands dirty in the gym and get our hands dirty in the kitchen with some of these experts because we're talking about all the science, which I know you love, but obviously living that congruent lifestyle, being fit and so forth and training, uh, that's part of the process. And so we're, today, we're gonna do a little shoulder and tricep workout. For me, I think shoulders, especially for, for both men and women, shoulders are very important, okay? So that's what people see. You know, if you wanna have that wide V back, if you wanna really look good in the cocktail dress and uh, make it make you know other people realize that you work out you got to train your shoulders and you have to train triceps see when when it comes to training arms a lot of people train biceps and your bicep you know there's you know my bicep um, it's kind of a smaller muscle group. It's just really, you know, two muscles, the heads, and then the brachialis that kind of innervates there. Uh, but your tricep you can actually get a lot, you can train it a lot more volume. You can withstand a lot more volume without um, leading to an injury. But it's, in my opinion, it's easier to grow. It's, you know, three big heads and there's a lot of variety and variations that you can do. And if you want to have bigger arms, whether you're a man or a woman, you definitely want to tr uh, train your triceps because that's going to give you that look of uh, having bigger, more physically fit arms. And really, when it comes to functional fitness, you, you I, I feel like, I don't know about you, uh, I do a lot of gardening, picking up my daughter, moving things. Uh, triceps, in my opinion, are more functional. Oftentimes, you know, we're, when we pick something up, we're not curling, we're kind of like lifting it and moving it. But oftentimes, you know, we're pushing furniture around or, uh, you know, pushing wheelbarrows, shovels, like we're moving things. You know, our triceps are definitely more functional. And so I'm gonna show you a few variations. A lot of them, by the way, guys, are from Charles Poliquin's book, uh, Bigger Arms. I'll put a link below this. If you missed that interview, definitely check that out. That was in earlier uh, January of 2017. Awesome video. But we're gonna get into the gym uh, and do something a little bit different. And what's really cool about today's workout is we're gonna use exercise bands. So what we're gonna do is standing military press. If there's one exercise that you could do, man, woman, old, young, do standing barbell military presses. So I would suggest starting out, uh, you know, maybe two or three light sets, uh, failing at say eight to 10 reps, and then dropping it down. Obviously you're gonna periodize your workouts and so forth, but then dropping it down and kind of failing around rep, I would say maybe five or six when you start. If you wanna go really heavy, you can start failing at around two reps and do multiple sets there. And that's really gonna help to build that head on your shoulders. Then we're gonna go and do some Arnold's. So Arnold's, you're kind of twisting like this. You're getting the medial delt, the rear delt, frontal delt, and so forth. Then we're gonna get into the arms. And so we're gonna do uh, one of my favorite tricep exercises. So that's gonna be lying on the decline bench and then uh, doing some kind of French style presses like that. And so those really work, that medial head, that long head, it's, it's really good. So the key here, and I've learned this from Charles Poliquin, is you wanna do exercises where your arms are really close to the body. I'll kind of demonstrate. Like this would be like really close to the body and then further away. Okay, so this would be like lying down or you know, if you have the cable rope, you can move it like that. So what you wanna do is vary your elbow position and then also use bands as well. And then also the cables. So when you do cables and so forth, the weight is very consistent through that strength curve as is with the bands. So you wanna train for that. And so that's what we're gonna do starting out with a standing military press. So for those of you that don't have that anterior, don't have that neutral spine going, maybe you have the anterior pelvic tilt, um, you know, and so forth. We're gonna start out with the bands because you don't have to do a lot of weight, but it really kind of forces all, it's that time under tension throughout the strength curve. We're gonna start with that. For me, it's just kind of where I was when we did this workout. 
um, in my periodization program. So I was using a lot of bands. Now I'm back to just doing kind of more explosive type work with heavier weight. So hopefully you like this workout. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. We're gonna do, again, much more of these vlog style videos, behind the scenes, cooking, fitness, all that good stuff. So again, a couple things you wanna check out. Check out your, your spine position. So you definitely wanna have a neutral spine. Suck in that belly button when you're doing overhead pressing because it's easy to do that anterior pelvic tilt. Uh, it's kind of hard with the camera guys, but it's very easy to do this anterior pelvic tilt and you're kind of crunching your lumbar spine. You don't want to do that. So make sure you have a neutral spine before you get into the position. And what you want to do uh, when you're overhead pressing uh, is making sure that as soon as you clear your head, the bar is kind of going back. So I'll see on my elbow, like, see if you start pressing like, like this, it's hard to do this with a camera, right? Uh, it's easy to do this anterior pelvic tilt and uh, flare your chest up. So what you wanna do as soon as you clear your head, you wanna kinda move, go back. So you're kind of almost doing, not quite behind the neck, but that you know your palm is neutral with your shoulders. So it takes a little practice. I'm not 100% perfect at this, but it takes a little bit of time. A final piece of advice that I forgot to share, and that's that I'm having more carbohydrates lately around exercise. So I noticed over the summer, August, September, when I was doing a lot of intermittent fasting, I was losing strength and losing a lot of muscle. So one of the things that I've been doing, guys, is on strength days like this, especially back day and leg day, I'm having more carbs. We're gonna do more videos and a webinar all about this, so check the link in the YouTube description below because I'm gonna let you know all about that but it's very important. So for those of you that don't have a lot of fat to lose, you're interested in just maintaining your physique, maintaining your strength, whether it's performance, whether you're, you're a CrossFitter or just a strength athlete, or you just wanna look, you wanna have a little bit of muscle. Not a bodybuilder, but you wanna have muscle. Tune into this webinar, guys. It's gonna be really informative. I'm gonna go through all the science and some research and some discussions that I haven't yet posted on the podcast I'm gonna share with you. So those are the tips that I have. Hope you like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment bar below and let's dive into it. Possible. Back is nice and tight. The idea is really isolate the triceps. 